Hey everybody, I'm Eric with Turbo Sound. Thanks for joining me here today at Music Studios. I've got the M32R digital console here with me and I wanted to give you an example on how to utilize the alternate via the console uh, for a straight hookup into our IQ speakers. So I've gone ahead of time and just uh, plugged in a mic line right into the local inputs. I, I'm using channel one. It's not a big uh, complicated setup, it's just one input. Uh, so now I'm at the point, I've got levels and uh, I'm where I'm at as far as uh, the microphone is concerned. Now I'm gonna need to get into the routing menu on the console itself, so let's do that right now. So I'm gonna go to the control surface here, I'm gonna hit the routing button right next to the screen. And uh, this is gonna be uh, exactly uh, the same thing on the X32 uh, as well. So if you're using the X32 family of digital consoles, the firmware is exactly the same, so this video will work for that as well. So when you hit that uh, routing menu, it's gonna take you to this home tab, uh, and you're just gonna go ahead and scroll over to the P16 out right here. And uh, you'll notice on the left side of the screen here, you have P16 out. Now by default, uh, the way the alternate works from the console, it's already gonna be, uh, channel one is gonna be feeding the uh, channel one for the P16 output. So we're gonna actually choose the, the channel to be P16-1 for this IQ speaker right now within the console. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make sure it's on P16 channel one here on this section. And I wanted to actually get its signal from my uh, the left side of my master bus. So I'm gonna go main left. So I want everything that I do as far as like uh, EQ wise or uh, dynamic processing, I wanted to translate it uh, coming out the master fader. So I'm gonna set that signal to be a post fader. So there we go on that. Now you'll see on the bottom right hand side of the screen here on this menu, it says edit IQ setup. So right, uh, right below that, go ahead and hit that encoder. Now it brings you into the TurboSound IQ series speaker control system. Now you'll see over here, we have pr pretty much the same uh, setup as the other menu. Uh, I'm still on channel one here, but I wanna uh, make sure I know what it is. So I'm gonna go down here and choose my IQ 12. And uh, you have some EQ presets here. So whatever type of program you might be running through your speakers, uh, we have a couple of presets. Uh, if you're running uh, like a live show or maybe it's uh, maybe a corporate event, uh, you can select speech. And if you're just uh, playing tracks back or you're playing some music back, you can hit it playback. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and leave it on user defined settings so I can go ahead and control certain uh, EQ aspects um, when I need to. The next window over is going to be the speaker modeling. So we've got a couple of mo models in here that uh, represent uh, some of the popular brands that are out there right now on the market. So you can go ahead and uh, choose from those. Uh, if you're maybe used to a particular cabinet design, you can go ahead and uh, cycle through those and choose what you need. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the IQ12 for right now. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that menu. And I'm gonna walk over to my IQ12 speaker here right now. Okay, so I need, to I need to choose the channel that this speaker is gonna work on. We've chosen channel one from the console as is right now. So all I need to do is come over here to the setup button on the IQ speaker, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the input. Right now it's set to local, so it's looking for inputs from the analog uh, section right here. You have the combo jacks. Uh, but one thing I really need to do first is plug in my alternate, because if I go ahead and try to select that, it's gonna say check alternate. So it's saying, hey, I'm not seeing any signal. So I've gone ahead and already hooked up an alternate uh, cable, which is a Cat5 standard Cat5 cable, just like you would use for your internet, plugging it right into your router or to your computer. From the back of this console, and I have the other end right here, I'm gonna plug it into the in port. And now I'm gonna go back up to the menu and select local. And I'm choosing P16-1. Now you see if I cycle to the right, it increases in number. It'll go all the way up to 16 because the alternate is a 16 channel digital audio distribution technology. So I'm gonna leave it on P16-1. Everything is set up, ready to go. I'm gonna exit out of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the master fader here. Now if I've done everything right, we should get some sound out of here. So let's go ahead and try that out. Check, check, hey, hey, two, 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 two. So there you have it. Now I've just connected my M32 digital console 
Now this is also gonna work again with the X32 family digital consoles as well. And a nice direct link from your console to your IQ speakers. For more in-depth tech specs, please be sure to visit turbosound.com. Thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. See you next time.